Uh, good, good morning, everybody. Let's do some exercise, shall we? Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 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 Oh. Okay. Oh. Wow. Let's take five minutes break, please. Wow.
Good morning, everybody. <sighs> okay. Ah. Yeah, uh, let me get some drinks and get the party started. Um, Okay, so 
Um. Ah. Sorry for the slow start, but uh, hey, it's Sunday morning, right? Yeah. Happy Sunday morning. <clears throat> yeah, my voice sounds a little bit weird because uh, I sang too much yesterday in a long time. So, but I recover. Yeah. Oof. I mean, I only sang two songs in karaoke bar, but before that and after that, I sang on my own, you know. Yeah. yeah. Some vocal cords training, yeah, it happened before. Yeah, I did cover in a couple of weeks, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Happy Sunday morning, cheers. It is cold. Oh boy. So I did it yesterday after the Last night's nice episode, yeah, I, I had good meal, um, Chinese food uh, from the deli, it was good, yeah. I had over half of that, because it's, it's got a lot, so, it's like $5, yeah, I think it's like broccoli beef, hmm? yeah. with fried rice, oh, it was good, yeah. <laughs> and, so, the way I prepared it is, uh, I put some fat-free milk in there and then microwave it. After that, some part of the fried rice, I put some fish sauce from Thailand that Walmart sells, okay? And then the other part of the fried rice, I put uh, soybean sauce. Ah, Japanese brand, Kinkoman. Yeah, it, it's just good, so good, oh boy. I was watching with this X X Five episode about what was it about? The ghost who stole Christmas. Yeah, yeah. It kind of like these ghosts are kind of psychoanalyzing Scully and Moldo. It was hilarious. Oh boy. And this morning or last night, I had a very interesting dream. I was in a hang glider. And it was scary because I, I was flying so high over the cloud, you know, some kind of like parachute, whatever, right? And between the clouds, I see this beautiful scenery of like cities, all this lit up with electricity and then, but it was too scary, it was just flying too high, you know? So, yeah. And also, I was hungry, so I just came down and landed in a shallow beach, water, right? Yeah, safely, in the drip, okay? Yeah. And it was Spain. Spain, in Europe, okay? On the beach area, shallow water, okay? And... Basically, some people call the police, okay, and because I came to Spain without any visa, I guess, so kind of illegal entrance. So this this three attorney arrived in Spain, okay, and then asked me like, "Hey, where is your passport?" S stuff like that, and I said, like, "Well, I I I don't know. I I, I didn't plan on." international traveling, I just happened to land in Spain. I'm sorry. They say something like, yeah, we're here until we check on you, okay? Uh, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I will, but, uh, you know, I'm a lawyer, so uh, 
I will represent myself if I get into any legal trouble here. And they said, no, that's a lie. No, we don't believe you. You're a lawyer. I was like, yeah, whatever. That was interesting to me. And so I, I woke up this morning. Right now it's like 11 o'clock. And I think I woke up like one hour ago. Okay. And then um, I wrote another essay I sent it to newspaper. Okay. Yeah. 300 words essay. Yeah. So now four, one down, four left. Okay. Yeah. We're 21 down. Four left, okay, yeah. Just cranking out essays, letter to editor, okay, yeah. It's gonna be good, I think. Yeah. Yeah, is my legs pretty? <laughs> I love my legs. I think my hands are pretty too. Sometimes I, I like my eyes. <laughs> Sometimes I love my lips too. <laughs> okay, let's clown. Let's take five minutes break before I totally go crazy, okay? I, I'm a joke, okay? Yeah, so. Okay. Now I'm getting hot. Oh. Five minutes, please. <laughs>
Okay, so, um, uh, some people might be wondering why I'm doing this, okay, so, okay, because my friends, they know I do this, okay, so, they can, they may be wondering why, why I'm doing this, okay, well, it's, it's, uh, this human resources is area, a uh, place for brainstorming, okay, we brainstorm, we think about issues, and we come up with solutions, okay, so that's what we do here, okay, so, everything that we discuss here, it gets written out uh, in forms of like research papers that I upload to online database. By the way, uh, this um, Pro Pebble paper too. So far, what were they? 32 downloads is like uh, in that area, like environmental science or geology in that area uh, is top 10 most downloaded. In that database, okay, so yeah, they let, let me know, okay, so yeah, yeah, for the months, not all time, all time high ranking paper, they have like thousands of downloads, okay, but across all areas, but in this particular like environmental science, that area, like geology, mining, mineralogy, yeah, it's top 10 for this month, okay, yeah. Also, like letters to editors, yeah. Yeah, the ideas we discuss here it get written out. Okay, so yeah, so that that's why I do this. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like a university of humanology, very much research institution, informal, but still, yeah, it's a school. Okay, we're studying, teaching. Okay, yeah, learning, sharing knowledge. Research institution. That, that's what this human history is about. Okay. Also, Friday night love it. Okay, same thing. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. It's working. When it comes to ideas and refinement, development of good ideas and solutions, right? Yeah. It's kind of think tank, human knowledge series, okay? Research institution, it's a school. Yeah. So that's what this is about, okay? So, yeah. At the same time, it's like public diary, entertainment venue for us, right? Yeah, we sing and dance sometimes. Sometimes I cry like, ooh, then I watched the movie and it touched my heart. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Variety show, okay? <sighs> yeah? What else? Yeah, so ide ideological contest. Uh, that's the kind of, I think that's what characterizes uh, my campaign and also political ambition. Ideological campaign, ideological war, ideological conquest. Okay, so uh, well, I'm a humanologist, so we know what ideology is, and um, we don't subscribe to Democratic Party or Republican Party. We just do our own things. Okay, so. Uh, but we are very inclusive, and we, we, we don't discriminate. But we do discern, uh, we do not discriminate against people, but we do discriminate against ideologies. That's the key distinction here, humanology. Okay. Humanology as a political party, <laughs> sure. As a religion, as a science, okay. Uh, We learn from Jesus and Mr. Jesus Christ, and then, yeah, we want to save people from bad ideologies, and um, though we respect freedom of people who choose to subscribe to certain ideologies, but it's not exactly that they're, they're choosing the ideology. It's more like ideologies chose them. Like Jesus said, you know, Jesus said, yeah, guys, you did not choose me, Jesus. 
I chose you, right? Ideologies come like that, okay? People don't get to choose ideologies. Ideologies, they choose them. Why? Ideologies, they're higher than people. Yeah, like tattoo piercism, marijuanaism, sugar fetishism, uh, LGBTism, or ultra intellectualism, whatever it may be, okay? Sure, I call tobaccoism, sure. Yeah. They happen to subscribe to. But I think it's worth working for me very well. Right? I'm healthy. Huh? And people say I look young too. I smoke every day. I drink every night. Huh? But I, I look young. I, I'm healthy. <laughs> I don't see any harm in tobacco and cigarettes. Alcohol. As long as you diet and exercise, okay? So. Hmm? So, ideological warfare, ideological campaign. So, uh, to me, ideologies are very important. So, I'm not going to compromise when it comes to ideologies as a politician. Okay? So, I, I will never join the Republican Party or Democratic Party. I won't. Okay? Why? I think I'm smarter than both of them combined. So, I have my own party, Human Knowledge Party, okay? Not declared yet. Maybe I'll never declare it, but informally I call it just Human Knowledge Party, okay? Maybe one day I'll register it, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Who can be a party member in Human Knowledge Party if I do register it? Anybody? Because I personally have so, some set of ideologies that I subscribe to and also some ideologies that I reject. But I don't want to force that platform to other people. I believe in American freedom. Okay. I don't want to force my personal belief on others. But I do express my opinions though. Okay, but that's it. I just want to inform people so that they make informed decisions. Okay, so tattoos, piercings, I don't think they are good. Okay, I think they are not aesthetically pleasing and I don't think they are healthy. I don't think they are convenient. And I don't think they look good. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody. I apologize. And, um, but that's just me, okay? So, why is my politics ideological campaign? Uh, because uh, we want to spread our own ideologies, okay? Most politicians, uh, they belong to some parties like Republican Party, Democrat Party, and they obey those ideological goals of those parties. I don't. I have my own set of ideologies and I feel very strong, strongly about it. Okay, so, yeah. So, I'm a conqueror wannabe, ideological conquest. Then do I want to spread my own set of ideologies? Yes and no. I want to inform people, educate people about those ideologies and then let them make more informed decisions. Okay, yeah, that's all. But it's up to the people. So it's not exactly conquest. Maybe kinda, okay. Let's take five minutes break, okay, before I lose any more votes, okay, so. Okay.
<sighs> yeah. Five minutes, please. It's getting hot again, so... Uh, yeah. So, two days ago, I mean, yeah, Friday night, I love with Honky Lee, yeah, I said, yeah, why don't I tell you laundry list of things when it comes to ideologies, am I pro, anti, okay, but I didn't quite, I did a little bit, not full list though, why, I didn't feel like it, okay, I just wanted to relax, so, but now that I had enough relaxation, Let's do that, okay? Yeah. As a candidate, what's my stance on issues, okay? LGBT, anti, okay? Gone, pro. Abortion, pro. Not pro abortion, but pro choice, okay? Border wall, yes, pro, okay? Uh, but, yeah. Immigration, well, I think even illegal immigrants who have a job, legitimate job in America, I think they should stay. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of mixed, okay. And uh, globalism, pro. I'm all about international trade. I'm Ricardoian, okay. Yeah, I'm anti-tariff, okay. And uh, what else? I guess that's much of, pretty much about it. Okay, so. Yeah. So they, Congress nowadays, they come up with some kind of infrastructure bill. 
I think they are wasting money. I, I mean, when it comes to building roads, we yeah, we need that. We need, especially Alaska, we need to build more roads. Okay, because some remote villages like Bethel, Nome, you cannot drive there in Alaska. Okay, you have to either go there by airplane or ship, maybe. Okay, Alaska need more roads. Okay, yeah, that I agree. Huh? But what this clueless politicians in Congress, what they are talking about is replacing something that works perfectly fine, wasting money, labor, okay. They are not quite educated in economics, okay. You don't want to spend money on project that is useless. Let's say this house is working perfectly fine. But Congress, just to create jobs and spend money, give people jobs and money, they are asking people infrastructure bill like, hey, let's repaint this house <sighs> to create jobs. These people, they're clueless, okay? Oh my goodness. They are senators, they are congressmen, congresswomen, Washington DC, from all different states, okay? Very, very dumb people, okay? They think I'm a joke when I declare my candidacy. How about incumbents? Yeah, incumbent Senator Lisa Murkowski or her challenge of Mrs. Commissioner, they are worse than me. They are more serious jokes than me. My candidacy. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Look at the AOC. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez or what? MTG? Marjorie Taylor Green or Ilhan Omar? <laughs> Incumbent. How about Chuck Schumer or Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> They're jokes, okay? Mitch McConnell, the toddler boy. <laughs> How about Donald J. Trump? How about Joe Biden? How about Kamala Harris? They are jokesters. They are jokes. I'm less of a joke than they are. <laughs> I did write some about that in the letter to editor, just a little bit. Let me write some more about that, okay? Because it's going to be very entertaining, okay? So, let me make that note. That's going to be a fun piece, okay? Uh, boy.
Yeah. So that's what's gonna what I'm gonna write next time. That's uh, but this morning it's already written and submitted. It's three hundred word essay letter to editor. There I said, yeah, I want pebble and pebble mine and Anwar oil to help our poor people. Okay, yeah, social welfare program good to help help the poor. We cannot tax the rich and feed the poor. Which that's uh, communism, socialism. Again, okay? that's not America. America is capitalism. Okay, we cannot tax the rich and give it to the poor. It's unconstitutional taking. Okay. Uh, yeah, to help the poor, we need to make money. And one pebble. Okay. So that's for the criminals, homeless people, drug addicts. Okay. Social welfare program, rehabilitation program, education program for them. Because that's the only way to stop crimes. We cannot just guess them. That's unconstitutional, unusual, cruel punishment. Okay, we cannot guess them and kill them all. Okay, criminals. Yeah, we have to educate them. That's the only way to eliminate crimes. Okay, yeah, and to do educate them, we need money. Pebble, and what it can help. Okay. Yeah. Second reason why I advocate for Pebble and Anwar. It's also for the common people, low abiding, hardworking Alaskans, okay? They want to keep PFD. And they don't want state level income tax, okay? If they do not do Pebble and Anwar oil, then PFD will be gone. Okay. Due to inflation, yeah, governmental expense, cost of governmental, running governmental businesses, it will go up due to inflation, okay, so, yeah, PFD will be gone one day, and it won't be enough, so, Alaska will institute state-level income tax, and every year it will go up, that's what's going to happen if Alaska do not do not do Pebble and and Wahoo will, because Inflation happens, and if Alaska's uh, economic activity does not increase, then PFD will go away. Okay, it's just law of nature, inflation. Okay, so yeah, like. 24 TV show, I'm quoting from that, okay? Yeah, it's just physics of situation. <laughs> 24 TV show writers, very good writers, okay? Hollywood, they have some good writers there, okay? Some good directors, actors. Even today, okay? But 24 TV show, that's like, by now, it's been like 20 years, right? 24 TV shows. What 10, 15 years, okay? So. Very good writers, though. Okay. More, more colloquial language, plain, blind language, but still very smart to read. Uh, Twilight Zone series, that's more like literary. Kind of Shakespearean, highly decorated, very literally classical literature kind of sentences. Okay, Rastolin and his friends. Not very spoken language, but more written language, Shakespearean kind of. That's Twilight Zone. Okay, which is very beautiful. Okay, I love old English. I'm a huge fan of old English, okay, yeah. They're beautiful, okay. very arcane, archaic, beautiful languages, yeah. I love good old English. I love old Korean too, okay. yeah. Quaint, right, yeah. Yeah. 
I really appreciate literature, okay? Although I don't read very much. Okay. Isn't it my legs pretty? <laughs> mm. Mr. Lee! I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry if I sound very narcissistic or perverse. But I think my legs are pretty okay, so. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you come out clean, okay? You are. You're closed, aren't you? Closed case, yeah. Me? No. I'm. Playing by like heterosexual. No, you're fighting it. You you have this inner urge. You're fighting it. No. What I'm fighting is the public perception. Maybe some people want me to become LGBT, but I do resist that kind of temptation of Satan and evil and 666 and devil. So you do want to be LGBT then? No, no. What I'm saying is, I think heterosexuality is a good thing. And LGBT ideology, I think it's satanic ideology. I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody, but that's my opinion though. This is America. I'm free to express my opinions, right? I think LGBT ideology is a satanic, devilish, evil ideology. I think it's bad. So you don't, Mr. Lee, you do not support the rights of LGBT people? I support their rights. Their choice, their freedom, yeah. I do. I do not want people to bully upon LGBT people. No. No violence, please. Let's respect each other's freedom even if we disagree. I'm all for that. But my recommendation would be, yeah, people who subscribe to LGBT ideology, I think they should get out of that ideology. Why? Because it's, there's no good in there, okay? As far as I have studied, as far as I've learned, I wrote 172 pages pa long paper. The law of anti-LGBTism. Okay, it's out there. Freely downloadable. Okay, PDF. 172 pages. My conclusion? Yeah, LGBT ideology is bad. It's, it's no good. There's no good in it. It is satanic. All right. There is no good in LGBT ideology. Okay. So it's, I recommend people to get out of there if they're into it. Just make a recommendation. Exercising my freedom of speech, that's it. Hmm? Let's take five minutes break before I lose any more votes, okay? So. But yes, I love my legs. I, my legs, I think they, they are pretty okay, so. Let's take five minutes break before I totally go crazy, okay? <laughs> I told you, I, I, I'm a joke store, okay, so. Yeah. Five minutes, please. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, during the cigarette break, I wrote down some more notes about what to write in the next letter to editor. I think I have plenty of stuff. I think I'm ready to write another one. Okay. This one, yeah, it'll be like 400 words. Why? Because different newspapers in Alaska, they have different maximum word count limit. Okay. One of them that I haven't written yet is 400 word limit letter to editor. Okay. Yeah. This one's gonna be good. Okay. What if they don't publish it? No problem. I just publish it in my campaign website. Okay. So, yeah. It, so it will be about criticism of, of other candidates, two mainstream candidates, okay? Uh, incumbent, Senator Lisa Mukowski and um, her challenger, Mrs. Commissioner, Republican Party's favorite, okay? Who got President Trump's endorsement, <laughs> okay? Yeah. This, this essay is going to be good, okay? Yeah. When I criticize other candidates, I can be pretty harsh and aggressive, okay? Not savage, but just metaphysically, okay? Yeah, I, no personal attacks, but uh, just political attacks, which is fair. It's, it's democracy, it's a betting process, adversarial system, it's, it's good, okay? Yeah, but... When I write, I can be pretty aggressive, okay, so... I, if have if you have seen this humanized series before, yeah, you probably know what I'm talking about, okay, yeah. But it's metaphysical battle, so it's good, it's beautiful, it's literature, okay, yeah, just in words. No violence, no, just words. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. When I was a teenager, high schooler in South South Korea, uh, th there's this uh, professor in philosophy in South Korea. He's Buddhist. Uh, he studied in Harvard. He's my guy, okay. What's his name? Uh, I think I'm allowed to mention his name. Why? Because he's a big celebrity in South Korea, okay? Uh, Mr. Professor uh, Kim Jong-ok, Do Kim Jong-ok, okay, so, yeah. He had this TV series broadcast, not live, it's recorded, but South Korea, they love academia, they love science, philosophy, they're very academic, scholarly people, South Koreans, okay? So in mainstream TV show, they talk about philosophy, science, history, okay? So they had this TV show, it's the lecture, but in the broadcasting studio, it's either NBC or KBS, I'm not sure what, which one it was, okay. Korean Broadcasting System or NBC, Munhwa, Munhwa means culture, okay, so Munhwa, Broadcasting company, okay. KBS is Korean broadcasting system. Maybe they got some government sponsorship. Munhwa Bangsung, that's like a private entity, okay. Later on, SBS, like Seoul Broadcasting System, okay. Which I, I don't think it's municipal. Maybe some municipal, municipal city taxpayers money, maybe. Okay. Partially. But I think it's probably never touch you, okay? Whatever. So, Mr. Professor Kim Yong Ho, okay? His lecture series in broadcasting company's studio. I attended his lecture once, like as an audience on stage, okay? My parents saw me, okay? It was on TV, okay? So, yeah. So, I do remember his lecture series. Uh, I did watch his other lectures, because it was big hit, very popular. He's a smart man, okay? So, 
very well learned scholar, okay, professor in philosophy, okay, so in South South Korea, okay, Professor Kim Jong Un, okay, so and he talked about Jesus and Bible, okay, yeah. in one lecture, okay, and he said, yeah. Jesus criticized all this established establishment, and it was so beautifully done. That's what he said. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Criticism as a literature, satire. It can be very beautiful literature. Okay. So if I criticize candidates, big mainstream candidates like Mrs. Commissioner or incumbent senator Lisa Murkowski, if I write about if I write criticism of them, it can be very beautiful literature, satire, comical, and perhaps sensational. Okay? Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. I already have done it. Look, I have written 21 letters to editors, okay? <laughs> but next essay, yeah, it will be about criticism of other candidates, okay? So. I'll be gentle, okay? I'll be nice. I'll be civil, respectful, but it be sardonic, sarcastic, cynical, satirical. Yeah, but not satanical though. No, I, I, I'm Jesus, yeah, I'm religious. I'm not satanic kind of person. I'm a humorist, okay? Which is good. Good sense of humor, okay? So, yeah, I think I'm ready to write that 400 word letter to editor, okay? So, what town, how's that newspaper? I'm not gonna tell you, but it's a very small town, very obscure town. Somewhere in Alaska, okay? Whether they're gonna publish it or not, it's up to them. If they don't, I publish it my campaign website, okay? No problem. It's gonna be good, okay. So. Yeah. I look forward to write this, okay. So. so this morning, how did I write it? In my cell phone, okay. Yeah. Tap it in my cell phone. On my bed. After I woke up from morning sleep, I was still on my bed, my cell phone, on my bed, lying down, just typing it, okay, so. Email sent. Let's take five minutes break, okay? So. I'll write down some more notes for this essay, okay? So, okay, five minutes, please. Thank you. This is going to be hilarious. Yeah. It's good to be a politician. It's so funny, so.
Okay. So some of these local newspapers are housed in remote villages somewhere in Alaska. Okay, highly inaccessible. Okay, so uh, but they have this wonderful newspaper, local newspapers. Okay, so uh, <sighs> so it'd be interesting how it pan out. Okay, so. As an Alaska U.S. Senate candidate, statewide election, okay, I just want to say hello, okay, to my fellow Alaskans in remote villages that I have never been to. Why? You cannot just drive there, okay? You need money to get there, okay, to take airplane. I got no money to buy airline ticket like that. We need more roads, okay? So infrastructure plan, the Congress, U.S. Congress is working on. What all they need to do is bring all that money to Alaska and build roads in Alaska. That I will approve, okay? But repainting the house, that's waste of money and labor and time, okay? This house is just fine, okay? It looks clean, okay? There's no need to repent it. Okay? <laughs> roads. We need to build brand new roads in Alaska, okay? I mean, Alaskan roads, that's already here, there's some potholes. Yeah, just cover it up. I mean, the. Fill up the pothole. Yeah, we need that. Okay. But don't overdo it. Okay. You don't have to repave the whole thing. I understand. Yeah, contractors. Yeah, to make their contractor road paving, pavement business to be profitable. Yeah, they need bigger scale. So I, I understand that part. That part, yeah, I do understand business side of things. Okay, I do. Okay, but uh, it's getting too hard. Let me open up some more windows. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's still in one hour and a half, okay, so, uh, uh, but I'm kind of eager to write this essay, letter to editor, for, 400 word, okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, I will have to use the laptop, because I wrote a lot of notes, I need to copy and paste all that stuff, okay, so. Okay, so let, let's wrap it up for this episode, okay, and then I'll write that 400 word letter to editor and send it after that. 
some singing and dancing. Not singing. Yeah, I need some vocal rest. Just dancing, I guess. To celebrate the 400 essay, world essay, okay? So that's the plan. I'm not hungry though, because I, last night I ate good. Okay, so. On the weekends, I do practice fasting, skipping just a couple of meals. By the way, in social media, yeah, I introduce humanizing religion and there's some too much religious debates. So I block them and mute them. Okay, why? Uh, if they want to talk about religions, yeah, they don't have to involve me. Okay, I just don't want to get all this notification in the social media. Okay, so. But I, I did thank them for their discussion, their time. Okay, but. No offense, it's just that uh, I just don't have time, okay? I'm just too busy, okay? So, But it was good. There is a discussion, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I thank their time, their discussion, mutual exchange of knowledge, okay? But it was getting too heated, so uh, yeah, I had to block them, mute them, okay? So, social media, okay? So, but please, no offense, okay? I appreciate their passion about religions. It's, it's just that I, I cannot be part of that religious debate. Well, for two weeks, yeah, I did tolerate, okay? But I will draw a line, okay? Because I have to move on, okay? So, okay? Yeah. I cannot, I don't have time to be dragged down in this quagmire of religious debates, okay? So I do. Draw a line, okay. So yeah, this I I got out of there, okay. Okay. Sometimes it's just best way to do it, okay. So just leave, okay. Yeah. So I left. Okay. Yeah. The religious debate, but I just thank them, appreciated them, okay. But yeah, I I I have to move on, okay. So okay. All right, let's wrap it up for tonight. I mean. This episode, okay. Uh, I, I got a 400 word essay, letter to editor to write, okay. So after that, some dancing, maybe, okay. All right, thank you. Good night. I mean, have a nice day. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Bye.